I was just thinking if I get the date wrong today, I'd never hear the end of it. <laughs> if I pulled out my phone to check the date. <laughs> it's the first. Hey, this is uh, Phil and Ryan. We're going to do one cast today. We're on Lake Taney Como. It's the first day of 2019. <sighs> and it's a cloudy, cool day. It's, uh, I guess, around 32 or so. But there hadn't been any wind today at all, so it's not too bad. Been working in the yard. No water today at all. Um, not really water. There's hardly anybody on the lake. Had, uh, uh, I think we had four, six guys come in for getting ready for the tournament this weekend. Um, huh, what else? I've been doing pretty good off the dock the last couple of days. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just catching quite a few. Um, didn't know I think that. They're in 21, but there's the the three mm -hmm. that have been fishing off the end of the dock. Paul told me yesterday she caught 31. He caught 32, I think. Golly. Sitting on the dock. They got a homemade dough bait. I don't know what's it. You know, there was th those guys that fished a couple of weeks ago. Said they caught 100 in one day. They 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 were fishing that dough bait too. Somebody needs to steal that recipe. Yep. Maybe somebody on watching one cast has a recipe they want they want to sh share. The big ass secret dough bait recipe. That's all right. <laughs> Well, I'm throwing a, um, it's that black and chartreuse, uh, 16th ounce of blackhead, two pound line, and what do you got on? That peanut butter head, uh, burnt orange, and sculpin. Okay. We're just up from the dock. The pump station's right behind us. Still got pondweed here, which is unusual for this late in the year. Kind of grows up and out away from the bank. Usually it dies off in the, when they generate power, it, the water usually, flow usually carries it out of here, but it's still here. Haven't seen anything on the surface today. Of course, I haven't been down at the dock, so. Dwayne Amonish, yeah, so, as soon as I say something. Dwayne Amonish have been off the last couple of days. Yesterday was their 10th wedding anniversary. He's off again today. I don't know if, they're probably not fishing. Ho ho! All right, first day of the year. Catch a fish. He's a jumper. Cool. Jackson? It's a fatty, too. <laughs> <laughs> nice rainbow. Thank you. We checked the battery before we left. Got plenty of battery on the GoPro, plenty of battery on the microphones. And we forgot our SD card when we got out here, so we had to go back to the dock. It's not very deep over here. Marsha and I and Lisa and my mom, we drove over to Parsons, Kansas yesterday for a service, a um, memorial service for a friend of family, 
Bob Brandenburg. He was a gentleman that my dad worked with. In fact, I think, I'm not sure if my dad hired Bob or if he was already at the hospital, Labette County Medical Center when dad got there. Um, Bob, I guess, would have been uh, three, two, two years younger than dad. No, four. Ooh, there's a bite. Anyhow, Bob, he had, uh, at the age of 12, he had uh, developed polio. Um, actually, several of, a couple of his other, a couple of his friends got it too at the same time. And I guess back then, um, polio affected people differently, and Bob lost the the use of his his legs and um, limited use of one arm, but. The story goes that as he was so popular in school, he was a great guy, that his friends would carry him every place. Um, uh, the schools in Parsons were two and three stories, of course, no elevators back then. And, and uh, so they'd carry him up and down the stairs. And then he went to college at Emporia State and uh, graduated with a teacher's certificate in the accounting business. Ended up going to work for the at, at Labette County, and uh, he and Dad and um, gosh, there's so many people there at the hospital that that knew Dad and worked with him. But my fond memories, my first memory of Bob was uh, we go into the shop and um, a guy named Felix Alvarez was worked there. He was head of maintenance for the hospital and Felix and my dad and me and Bob would play carom. You know what carom is? Oh, come on, you don't know what carom is? <laughs> no. You know that big round, flat, big round, it's not round, rounded corners, but it's, it's a board with pockets. You have a little round plastic disc um, I remember the board at Grandma's, but I don't think we Right. Well, it had a little round disc that you'd flip. You had a white one, which was the cue ball, and then you try to hit your colors in. And then the last one was the black, and that was like the black eight ball. You had to make that last. And we would play carom. Of course, they played a lot more than I did. I was, you know, in school and stuff, but hush. But they'd uh, they'd play over their lunch break or whatever, and that's my first memory of Bob. But uh, Bob lived to be 80 years old, which is a little unusual for polio victims. And uh, he was a great guy. He was a really good service. It's, saw a lot of a lot of old friends. It was a really good time. The community really came out and honored him. He was really big in Boy Scouts. That was one of his, it's one of the things he loved. As a matter of fact, I was in his, his troop, Troop 2. Got the one fish. You must put a thirty uh, a thirty second ounce on. Well, there's four pound on this thing too. Oh gosh, yeah. Yep. Jackson was fussing at the heron. It's my last cast.
Trivia, what kind of bird is that? Don't say it. He's fussing at us. I think we're in his fishing spot. <laughs> no. Somebody will somebody will come out and get it. I kind of gave it away when I said <laughs> well, we're in a fishing I didn't spot. I don't know. You might be right. Somebody will get it. Somebody, will, a birder out there will know the call. But maybe I'm wrong. Look how fat he is. Yeah. They've been working on it. Man, this is... What have you been hanging around behind our dock? Yeah. If he flipped, he would have broke my line. I mean, look at... That's, that's a... He's a pound and a quarter. Yeah. Maybe a pound and a half. I don't know what he's got in his belly. It's kind of a... Big old lump right there. All right, stay away from the Boswell guys this weekend and you'll be, you'll survive. <laughs> Toby, Toby's gonna go buy all your black and chartreuse jigs tonight. Yeah. <laughs> or tomorrow. I'll go raise the price on them. Thanks for watching, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>